Okay, playing a longer game. It's a 20 minute and 10 second game. I think I've demonstrated by now that no game of chess is perfect unless of course the opponent is not of the same skill level as yourself and you're wiping the floor with them so then obviously you're getting like a hundred percent on your accuracies and everything like that we're not talking about those types of games we're talking about games where you're playing somebody who is either the same level as, level as you or they're slightly better than yourself and errors are made throughout those games even if you're playing the best that you can you'll always miss something so be ready for missing something and when you look at your evaluations afterwards like in my previous game where basically when wrong is right <laughs> in your next chess moves um, basically there were two beautiful positions that I had in that particular game one where I could have taken the bishop with my knight and one where I actually put my rook in front of their knight so these things do happen and it happens because we don't pay attention enough and even when we feel like we're paying attention enough we need to pay attention of the paying the attention if you know what I mean so doubly checking what move you're making looking at the board and look try to look at it like you're actually doing an evaluation of the game at the end of the game see there's a nice move here where you you know you develop the knight out protecting the bishop sometimes it, i don't i don't think that works for me somehow somehow the, does the queen come down here and all that type of stuff so i'm going to try it because it's uncomfortable for me Because there's movements that I stay away from because I've been practicing the answer to chess and I know that the pressure is basically putting that pressure on. Not ordinarily, I'd just take the bishop off the board. It's this white squared bishop that I've got basically is my, my bad bishop because it's my king side bishop. If I've not used it to Fianchetto, then it's a bad bishop in a sense. So he may as well make some use of it. So he's actually moved the pawn down interesting so they're playing very cagey they don't want to actually release any pieces so we're going to take the bishop off the board don't want to dance that makes sense to me so the ugliness of this knight process here um, the opponent's not taking advantage of whatever advantage they have when I do that I might actually start bringing that into the game developing the knight and at least I've got more pieces developed in a sense So we're going to attack through the center here <clears throat> excuse me now the knight's blocking this area the queen's not coming down so it's not the aspect of owning any of the center i just like to open up space but i will go for a lockdown thing just to practice the lockdown situation if it gives us an advantage it's more computer type thing you know doing that so because his knight isn't there could we take with the queen now just got the thoughts of the pawn dropping here you could drop it anyway so i may as well just take with the knight and as we said the pawn's dropping down so it's making space for his king and before we jump anywhere the knight could come here then we've got like a two on one on this um pawn here with the knight and the queen So maybe he moves his knight so that he's got his queen supporting the pawn as well so this position the opponent's given us it at the moment it's not a winning position it can easily defend by moving the knight but we seem to be sort of slowing down their process of going for castling so that's a plus to it all Where does the knight move to? It's probably going to 
If he goes here though, he's blocking his own knight, but he may feel safe bringing the knight here. You know, just to sort of like feel cozy around his king. I suppose if they bring it here, he's got angles to come around. But they're giving it a lot of thought. But in essence, the two on one, this knight is moving which direction we're not too sure as yet. It looks like I'll take a pause because they've gone into a, gone into the tank. Okay, so they've made the move. As we said, the knight was going to be moving somewhere, but it didn't move to any of the spaces that I discussed. It's uh, moved to this square here. So we could block this um, pawn off, make our knight a bit more active, hitting this square here. It's all a bit obvious, but so if we went there and then he went greedy munch into here, then we would get the rook off the board. Where else can his knight bounce to? It's not really doing any major damage. So we'll go with that. Aiming for this target here with a check on the king and hitting the rook. So it seems to be a bit forceful what we're doing at the minute it's just that the opponent seems to have let us in they've given us these gaps that we can hopefully take advantage of but just because their pieces look like they are sleeping i don't want to over egg it over extend and then lose out in tempo and then they start creeping up towards the back end of the end game as you can see i'm in end game opening mode with the position of the pieces We'll give a pause because obviously this is a deep thinker. Oh, they've made a move, brought the rook here, preventing the knight from jumping into the glorious spot. But he has actually given up this pawn. So a smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. So I'm thinking of going here if the rook then comes back. We can always come back to this position again, threatening this area here. So I'm going to grab the pawn. This is one of those, those games where I'm sitting back now and I'm saying to myself, I haven't actually got castled myself. And if you have a look at the tail of the tape now, he can actually come here with his queen and get my knight. And he has done. I just tell you unbelievable so he's got my knight but we can get his knight so if we push this pawn here this knight's protected so he goes for hours then he gets a pawn it's all a bit scrappy now let's just grab here so we might have done that to, what, what was I just saying overextending and he's gone crazy now he's gone super speed it's like super mario if we go here if we go there then the knight is protecting the pawn he's looking to attack here yeah probably over exerted myself a little bit there but we're equal in terms of material so I'm not going to lose any sleep so now they're moving a little bit quicker they seem to be feeling like they're organised but they do have their two pieces we're castling the two pieces that looked like they were asleep but now they're going to start waking up so we have the box clever and I was just saying wasn't I it looked like one of those positions where I'm, I'm feeling a little bit like I'm over egging it. But it's not too bad. I don't think it's too bad at all. I never look for like a perfect looking game. I'd rather have an ugly, ugly looking game and actually just get the job done. Because that seems to upset a lot of players, you know, playing an ugly game uh, where it looks, oh, Bishop's coming for a cup of tea. 
cup of tea and a slice of cake. Normally the knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. But I'm feeling really quite devilish. I'm going to bring my bishop here now attacking the queen. A smaller piece attacking a higher piece. I like the position of our knight. Because there's no small piece that can actually attack it. His knight can come out and attack it, in which case I'll probably take the bishop. Although it is a bad bishop because it's like jammed in. Queen's moved. And is there a magical fork with the knight? Nope. Yes. There is. So we'll get the rook. It's going to get the pawn, but we get the rook. So I'm going to say that was the opponent under egging it on that occasion. So we over it, they gained advantage um, in position as far as I could see. But then they under it. It's gone for the pawn. put a check on his king couldn't I with my queen well no he, he takes my queen off the board let's take the rook it's for free at the moment we're on the bishop we do have sights of this but his queen is there so we're oh what's going on so oh what has he done what has he done I've got his queen. Magic. Yes. A case of under-egging again. Not looking at what potentially could happen. Like, oh, and they've resigned. Okay, that was a nice game. <laughs>